Hi and welcome ladies and gentlemen. Today we are talking about graphs. Well, graphs are abstract data structures that map a relationship between items or um, so-called nodes. And there is the most significant difference in graphs and that is directed versus undirected graphs. In directed graphs, we have the direction between the nodes just from one node to the next. And in undirected graphs, those uh, directions is from node A to node B and from node B to node A and that always. So this direction goes in both ways and that's why it's called undirected. And graphs are incredibly interesting because they have so many applications and are widely used. They are graph databases. Um, in social networks, they are used for mapping yeah, friendship relationships uh, between people in Facebook, for example, could be mapped with a graph. There are web graphs that um, map the links and yeah, from one link to the next, how you go from where to where. And that's also a graph in the end. There are biological uh, networks there are neural networks, which is a fantastic topic itself, where all the single nodes could be seen as neural cells. And yeah, the blockchain, for example, is yeah, an application for the graphs, because um, every transaction could be seen, for example, as a node. Or, um, yeah, every operation on the blockchain could be seen as a node. And there you see already the yeah, widespread application and the importance of graphs. Well, what is a graph? A graph is basically um, an ordered pair of made of vertices and edges. Well, V is here our set of vertices. For example, as we see in our um, in our picture down there, it is the one, the two, the three, the four, the five, and the six. These are vertices and they're in a set, also meaning that they can occur uh, once, not more than once. And there are, uh, and E is a subset of the mapping from one vertex to the next and we give them a weight. So in this case, I say we just talk about directed graphs because they are a little bit more specific and you can, yeah, you have a finer or more fine grained adjustment of the edges and so on. So here we see um, our graph G is a pair of vertices and edges and the edges are, is a pair of vertices with a certain weight, meaning we go from one vertice to the next vertice and give this edge a weight. Let's have a look at an example. Here we have the vertices A, B, C and D. What could, for example, be waypoints, points of interest or cities? And then we have a set of edges. Here saying A, B um, or the, the distance between A and B is 300 kilometers. The distance between A and C 150 kilometers. The distance between B and D is 400 kilometers and the distance between C and D is 200 kilometers. And if we want to build the graph from that point, then we start here with our, with our node A and we look at the first um, edge in it. So we have also the node B and the first edge says A to B are 300 kilometers. So we wrote down A already. So now we wrote, write down B and we give the edge the 300 kilometers. That could look like this. And you always see it's always from um, vertex to the next vertex, vertex here. So A, uh, a comma B means from A to B and that's always the same. Well, then we have the edge uh, AC with 150 kilometers. So we write down C and we give the edge the 150 kilometers. Then we have BD. So we draw an arrow from B to D and give the edge the 400 kilometers and then we have C to D 
and there we give it the uh, the edge the 200 kilometers. All right, so good so far. Let's implement that in Python. Well, for that I'm opening a new window here in my Visual Studio Code, and I create a file called let's let's call it graph dot Python. And for that I create a class call and call it graph. And in there I want now the edges. So I need a new class called edge. And an edge has um yeah nodes in it. It has two nodes and a weight. So we also need here a class. Um let's call it node or vertex. Vertex might be better. And um, yeah, so what do we store in our vertex? In our vertex, I want to store once an index where we see later what we need it for, and I will store the value. So with a value, I mean the name, or let's call it name here. Name, and that is none for now, too. The index will be a number. And the name could be a string, for example, or that could be anything. That could also could be an object, for example. But the index should always be a number. Wait, let me write that here behind it. Should always be a number. And this is because we will at some point talk about edges and matrices, and there the index is really important to navigate through everything through the world graph. All right, so and in an edge we have node from and we have node to, both are none for now. And we have a weight there. And we say also that is none for now. And then I want to create a constructor, so I write down def in it. And we get, give it self um, node from node 2 and the weight and I say the node is none for now. Well let's let's do the weight yeah no let's do the weight zero. So that is fine because usually if you don't have an edge you say there is a weight zero between the two nodes and you don't draw the arrow in the end. And there we give self dot node from our oh, well we note from and we give self dot node to the value node to and we give self dot weight the value weight. So we don't have to put that in because it could it is not a zero by definition, but if we put it in it's nice to have. All right, let us now implement the insert edge um, yeah, method to be able to insert edges into the graph. I want to start and make here a notes list so we can store there our notes. And then I want to create the insert edge method that gets um, uh, vertex v vertex from that gets a vertex to and that gets a weight and I say the weight is by default zero and then I create some documentation here and I say insert an edge into the um, graph. All right, when we are there we have to check at first does our yeah, vertex already exist. So for that I want to create here a v from equals none for now and I want to say a v. yeah let's write that no let's write that like this and a v2 um, equals none. So there we will store the node if we find it, the vertex if we find it already in our list of nodes or we create a new one if the vertex from or vertex to um, wasn't yeah, existent already. 
So we say here four, and there we want to have note in notes. So we have to go unfortunately through all our um, notes. But that is for now like that. That uh, is because of the construct, how we construct that. There are a little bit different approaches with edges and matrices, for example, where you don't necessarily need that. But for now, we keep it simple and easy like that. So we say for note in self notes. Um, we want to check if our um, note dot name equals to vertex from. Then we say um, our v from is equal to our note, and then we are fine. And if node.name equals our vertex 2, then v2 could also or is also equal to our node. I don't do an else if there because the node for, uh, the vertex from and vertex 2 could be the same if we have a loop there. So we get here our v from and v2. And then we say if we from is equal to none, then we want to create it. So we say we from is equal to, and then we want to use self.vertex. And we say um, we from dot value, or no, dot name is equal to vertex from there we have it and we also need an index and I want to start with the index 0 and then keep increasing it so I say here index um, or let's say yeah current index and I want to start with 0 there and here we say v from dot um, index equals to our um, self dot current index and then I want to say self dot current index plus equal one so we increase it by one since we have to do that again I want to add here in the vertex also a constructor to make it a little bit easier to read and there I say name and index and then I say self.index equals index and self.name equals name. So we can write it here already vertex from um, self.current index and we can remove these two lines then here. So we are fine with that. And then I want to copy all of those and go in and do the same here for v2. So we did that too now everywhere. All right. If you don't know the shortcut for marking everything in Visual, Code, uh, Visual Studio Code, I really recommend you look at the abbreviations in uh, Visual Studio Code 2 yeah be more effective when working or if you use a different IDE it's yeah I, I'm kind of sure that they have that too all right so now we have read from and read to so we have to create an edge and I want to also store here a list of edges right underneath and then I go in and say edges.append and we need ourself there and I say v from v2 and it also gets our um, our weight. All right and then we are done with inserting that. So we have now a list of edges and we have created all of our vertex, vertices that we needed. So 
let's keep going and print our little graph. So I go in and say dev print and that just gets self and I give that a pass because I want to create our print method in the vertices and the edges. So I go in here and say def underscore underscore wrapper and that just gets a self. And there I say return and this method returns a string of the representation of our vertex. So I say here name and I say index oh. sorry for that dot format and that gets self dot name and self dot index and I want to do the same here for the edge and I say def representation and there I say um, return and I say here note from note to I want to have the weight and there I go in and say um, format and these get the representation of our note self dot note from self dot note to and our self dot weight. All right, and that look should look nice and neat now. All right, so let's print it here. And here we can say for edge in edges. I wanna go, and I need here our self dot edges. I wanna go in and say print our edge. And that should be it for now. So we go in and say if name equals to main, then I want to create a graph now. So I say G is my graph. And let's insert the same yeah, notes that we have bef had before. So I say G dot insert edge. And we had here some names and a weight. I s let me set that to nothing for now. And we need to copy that a few times. Let me have a look which edges we actually had. And we had the edge here. Let me copy that first A and B with a weight. 1.5 we had a to c with a weight 1 we had a to d with a weight 2.7 we had b no we didn't have a note from b we have c to d with a weight 3.5 we have d to e with a weight 1.1 and we have d to f d to f with a weight 1.5 that was the the first um, graph we had in the beginning all right, and then let's say g.print and that should print as our edges. And let's have a look if that works. And here we have a little error still. List append takes only one argument in our line 52. So we are here and here 
we, I made the mistakes and I have to say that is an edge self dot edge we want to append an edge and then it should run now so let's have a look and as you can see if I make that a little bit bigger we have here all of our nodes a index is 0 to b with 1 a to c index is 3 uh, index is 2 of the node that has a weight 1 and so on and so forth and I see here that there is still a little error in it because we run with the index so high that shouldn't be so let's have a look why that is we go in here and here we create our index and here we say if node.name equals vertex from then we say that is the node and just if it's none then we create our new vertex so the problem is that we never append these here to our to our um, vertex, uh, vertexes. So we have to say self dot nodes dot append, and there we have vertex from, and we have to do the same for our vertex too. So if we do that now, we should be fine and not run into an error anymore. String object has no attribute name because we have to use here v from and v2. Let's try it again. And there we go. And as you see, now the indexes are fine. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was it for today. Thanks for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if it was helpful to you and subscribe to the channel to get informed whenever I'm uploading new videos. So have a great day. Bye.